Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video we're going to show you how to add a mailbox folder permission to grant access to another user's calendar. So let's say you, my user 4 here is a manager and user 5 is a PA etc and user 5 needs to be able to obviously view this calendar or whatever the scenario is, you can do that with um, PowerShell. So if I go and, sorry about that, go and open Exchange Management Shell, you'll notice that I run everything as administrator. <coughs> it's just a habit. Right, so what we could do is we could say um, add mailbox Follow permission. So we want to give, um, so we say user four at tlab.local colon forward slash calendar. And we're granting the user, user five at tlab dot local minus access rights availability only as an example and wait for a few seconds and it should grant the permissions now Adding these kind of permissions does take some time based on replication and obviously how busy your environment is. So just be aware that it's not going to happen instantly, but it will eventually um, grant the permissions. So if we want to go uh, get mailbox folder permission, minus identity, user 4 dot local Ugh, sorry right <coughs> so just to give you an idea if you want to run a PowerShell command I just did the broad get mailbox folder permission just to give you an idea of how you can run the command and obviously if you wanted to do this on mass so it could be a case where you have um, let's say a, like a main user where all extra or main group where all users are part of and you want to give all users access to the uh, calendar for a specific user then you can do this and everybody will have access instead of doing it you know on a one one-on-one -on -one basis and again it um, it obviously takes time for replication to take effect and then for the users to see uh, you know obviously you can, can see the calendars so if we do the same thing for user 5 as you can see same thing and obviously get mailbox fold permission has quite a number of um, things you can do it's quite broad so just be aware of the permissions that you grant especially if you're granting uh, somebody full access uh, which we'll cover later on in another video full access to a mailbox or sending on behalf of or sending on or sending as etc and that is pretty much how easy it is to add the permission for a calendar. Thank you very much for watching.